tonight. Nashville voters decide if the city will get a multi-billion dollar mass transit plan. It was a five and a half billion dollar plan first brought to us by former mayor Megan Barry. It includes changes to the bus line, light rail, and even a section of subway through downtown. And from the get go, it has been controversial. We have team coverage tonight of this historic vote. We begin with News Channel 5's Kyle Horan. And Kyle, there's been a big push to get voters to the polls today. And likely both sides are either on the phones right now or out on street corners or are just walking up to people on the street outside of polling places trying to influence voters. We talked with both sides today. Spread the word. We need better. We need better. Which side do you choose? It's all good. It's all good. A transit plan that supporters say is the future for Nashville or to stop that plan and find a different path for Nashville transit. Vote against the tax referendum. Whatever you choose, know that both sides want to persuade you to do the opposite. Are you registered to vote? Yes. Okay. Are you cool with transit? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. You can vote at Sevier Park till 7 o'clock tonight. Colby Sledge uh, is a Metro Council member for the 12th South area. So Gilmore is down here. So He's out canvassing more than 100 homes today, looking to get the people who live here to vote. A lot of people are taking this decision very seriously. Um, they're trying to decide not just for themselves, but also how will transit affect generations from now and the whole county and outside the county. Mm -hmm. Like with Nathan here. Started off as a, as a hard no, mm -hmm. and I started doing research and just started slowly changing my mind, and that's when I went, I've got to ride this bus, and mm -hmm. I found it to be easy. It was exactly like riding public transport in San Francisco, which I've done a zillion times and uh, I want more of it. But we want to have a record number in the polls today. And across town is Jeff Carr, a member of No Tax for Tracks. He's doing some last minute campaigning to stop this plan. The other side is massive, but I think the people are proving that uh, we're going to get this voted down so we can get a better plan put on the table. We have to deal with the capacity issues we'll have in 20 years. Both sides saw a measure of support from voters today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, and both sides say they're not sure what the outcome will be, but they're hopeful. Also, we'll soon know what Nashville people, the people of Nashville, have chosen. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.